I think it's irresponsible. Um, you have to think of the bigger picture, and when people go and do things like that for their own benefit, I think that's really selfish. Soccer player Jaslyn Oviedo's not a fan of some fellow Monmouth University students who disrupted campus by testing positive for COVID-19 after attending an off-site party a couple weeks ago. The so-called super spreader event ultimately infected 125, prompting university officials to shut down in-person classes and move all instruction online. Everything online has just been crazy. Like it's hard to even like imagine that this is happening right now. But um, as us as athletes, like we're trying to just deal with it as best as we can. They're doing like the best that they can with their restrictions and everything. But it seems like everybody's going through this. The virus lingers here. Monmouth's COVID campus dashboard notes 96 cases are still active. Overall, 223 have recovered out of about 319 cases since August 24th. All active cases remain quarantined, as do more than 200 identified as high risk by contact tracing, according to University President Patrick Lay, who wrote in a letter an overwhelming majority of the recent cases we have seen can be traced back to this isolated super spreader event. Moving forward, we will need 100% cooperation from our campus community in order to resume our fall semester as planned. I cannot emphasize enough the critical importance of compliance with Monmouth University COVID-19 protocols and state of New Jersey health and safety measures. Once you have somebody who's positive who comes back to that sort of communal living environment, it's very likely that it's going to spread fairly quickly through that community. Epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera says college dorms create perfect opportunities for viral spread. Monmouth is now offering free COVID testing and Silvera calls that crucial. Testing so that we can find if, with, if those people are positive and isolate them right away so that we don't have a situation like in Monmouth where you have these super spreader events that get very difficult to then do the contact tracing for. Monmouth's not the only New Jersey college fielding COVID infections. Earlier this semester, Rowan University discovered 227 active COVID cases among students and staff. It's now down to a handful after the school implemented strict quarantines. A lot of the students who were infected early, I know you've seen the media reports of parties and certainly parties do contribute. Parties and contribute on university campuses and parties contribute to community spread. During a recent tour there, White House Coronavirus Task Force Coordinator Deborah Burks complimented Rowan's response of testing, masks, and quarantine. You could see that they were able to go up a peak, change behavior, come down that peak, and hopefully maintain that behavioral change. Back at Monmouth, students hope it's a lesson well learned. I mean, it's annoying, but Whatever, the people, I feel like now people will start doing what it ta like, takes to like, make things better. The future of Monmouth University's fall semester remains unknown. President Leahy says he'll decide shortly whether students can return to the classroom or must continue all virtual learning. At Monmouth University, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.